Hi besties and welcome to the first episode of my podcast, Kel's Life. I am so excited to be sharing this with you guys. I will be sharing a video format on my YouTube channel, Kelly Prepster, but I also am going to be sharing this audio on a podcast streaming platform, so be sure to follow, subscribe, comment, whatever platform you're on. It really seriously helps so much and I'm so excited to be sharing the first episode. I'm launching this on Valentine's Day, which I just feel like is so fitting and so on brand, so happy Valentine's Day. You guys are all having a wonderful day so far. I'm so happy that you're listening or watching this video. I'm planning on uploading every single Tuesday and I thought this would be really fun. So if you guys have followed along on my YouTube journey, I used to have a series called Talkative Tuesday. Now personally, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was never the biggest fan of the name, but I thought it was just really practical and fitting and I knew eventually that I wanted to turn it into a podcast, which is where we are right now, which is so exciting. And I just decided that the name Kel's Life was a little bit more fitting since a lot of my friends and family call me Kel. Since you guys are my besties, you're more than welcome to call me that if you want to. I just want to chit chat about topics, about things that we're going through, give advice, like current things that I'm going through, but also just share fun stories and have a different platform to connect with you guys all on. Since we are besties, I just want this to be like conversations that we would have over lunch or at a sleepover or on a FaceTime call because I want to be that friend for you guys just like you guys are for me. I just can't believe this is my first episode it's seriously so crazy and I will be completely honest I'm a little nervous filming this because I have a microphone a camera my laptop sitting in front of me and all of this lighting so fingers crossed it goes well I hope I get a little bit more comfortable as the episodes go on but today's episode's all about getting started we will get there in a few but this is a prime example of it's okay to be a little nervous when you start something new. Before we get into all of that, I thought it'd be fun to share a little get to know me in case you guys are new to my podcast. If you just found me and you're listening to the first episode later on, if you guys have just stumbled across my YouTube channel or whatever it may be, I think it's always fun to do a little refresher. So my name is Kelly. I started my YouTube channel, Kelly Prepster, I want to say six years ago. It'll be seven in July, which is just so crazy to me. It has been a huge passion project project that I love but it's also turned into a really steady source of income which has been really crazy when something that you love to do and it's a passion project turns into something that makes you money so it's just like wild to wrap my mind around that but I love sharing anything fashion my daily life I talk about jewelry sharing vlogs and recently I really got into making chatty get ready with me's and I always had this thing that I'm like do I have enough things to talk about and whenever I put the camera on I just start word vomiting and chatting so I do have a lot of things to talk about and I was so excited to have another platform to start talking a lot more with you guys. I love the color pink, anything sparkly, and of course One Direction. Like, can they just please get back together? Over the weekend, we recently purchased a record player. So we have a vinyl, and of course our first vinyl is Harry Styles. My favorite, we bought Harry's house from Target. So definitely recommend in case you guys are thinking about it. But I just felt like sharing that I'm a One Direction fan was really important to share in this intro. And I also really love shopping. Like if you guys watch my videos, you know I love fashion. And I can go shopping over and over again. I recently graduated college from the University of Cincinnati with a degree in digital arts, which again is so perfect for what I do with creating social media content and sharing videos and now doing a podcast. I learned so much of that and I use it in my day-to-day -day life, which is a perfect fit when your degree matches up like that. In the first semester of my college career, I met my husband, John, which is so crazy to me. I guess I kind of got my MRS degree as well, which is so funny we just got married in December which was seriously the best day ever and so fun I'll have to share more about that on the podcast but I do have a vlog on my YouTube channel of the day which I'm so happy that I vlogged it I also have a small business called Kelly Prepster Studio and I have a second YouTube channel where I share the behind the scenes of that over there as well I make bracelets and I sell them on Etsy I have a whole Instagram and everything but I make charm bracelets pony bead bracelets it's just a lot of fun and you guys seem to really enjoy it I'm currently working on adding more product to my site and it's just another passion project that I have and then I wanted to share a few of my hobbies just in case we have anything in common. So I love editing videos and filming. I love riding my bike. We have a Peloton and oh my gosh it's so nice because even if it's super cold here in Ohio I can still ride and I love Alex Toussaint's Peloton classes. I love reading whether it's romance or self-help or self-improvement books. I love making bracelets and being creative, taking bubble baths, shopping, yoga, cleaning and spending time with my friends and family. Okay, I think that's enough for right now, but I hope you guys feel like you know me a little bit better, but we are just gonna get started with 
today's topic and it's all about getting started. So I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Like I mentioned earlier, it's hard getting started. It can be nerve wracking. It can be stressful. Well, just like how I said, I'm so nervous filming this, but you know, once you start doing it, it does get a little bit easier. And I know that's kind of easier said than done, but it is something positive to think about. And I wanted to start off. So when I'm uploading this, it's Valentine's Day. The days are shorter and I'm going to be 100% transparent with you guys. I really struggle with the winter blues. If you guys don't know what that is, just like a little bit of the seasonal change. So when it gets darker out earlier, so like the sun sets around five o'clock here, I'm like done working at five o'clock. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go to bed. So it's been really hard for me to get motivated and to get started. So I thought this would be a fitting video, A, because it's the first episode, so getting started, but then also because of the time of year that I'm uploading this, thought it would be fun to share some tips and tricks on how I've been getting things started. Broke it into like a few categories. So I have fitness, daily videos, podcasts, my small business, and then 2023 as a whole. And I did this so I could relate it back to my life. So hopefully this is relatable for you guys. So with getting started, I want to talk about fitness because I feel like with the new year, I feel like a lot of people think about fitness goals and then also like getting started with fitness can be a little challenging and oh my gosh all of December it was so hard for me to squeeze in a workout whether it was because of planning a wedding Christmas parties all the holiday events Christmas shopping all of that goodness and it was so much fun that I'm not saying that in a negative way because I enjoyed every single minute of my December but I did not move my body at all if you guys know me I love to move my body every single day I did get certified as a personal trainer a few years ago and that's like how much I really like and get into fitness but when you don't have time for it it is really hard because now I'm like struggling to get back into it. I recently found a YouTuber called Move with Nicole and she does at home Pilates and shows you guys step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do it which has been really helpful and I just started to do the 20 minute beginner classes and you guys I know it sounds kind of like oh 20 minutes isn't enough but honestly, anyone can find 20 minutes out of their day. And I think that's something that's been super helpful for me, especially because it's at home mat Pilates. So you don't need to go anywhere. You just might want to change into some workout clothes and get it done. Also, what I really like about her workouts is yes, they're a little bit easier because they're beginner workouts, but I'm not overly sore the next day. And I recently found this quote. Let me find it. It says, if you don't pick a day to relax, your body will pick it for you. And I'm that type of person that I'm going to push myself as hard as I can and say like, bike 10 miles one day on the peloton right instead of doing a beginner 20 minute class and get used to it for a week and then i want to be so sore the next day that i don't work out and then i will never become consistent because i'm not pacing myself into it and i thought that quote was really helpful so with move with nicole i will do like 20 minutes each day for like four days take an off day and then maybe start doing 30 minutes each day for four or five days and then take a rest just kind of listening to your body is really helpful when you're getting started i think it's important to note that after a few days it's easy to finally get into a groove and and it's the first day that's the hardest and I wrote down a few tips that are helpful for when I'm planning my workouts when I'm getting into a routine again is to add it to my to-do list when I do that I know I have to accomplish it it's non-negotiable for me also picking out my workout beforehand it sounds really silly but has been really helpful for me so if I have free time and I'm not gonna work out yet but if I know I'm gonna do move with Nicole on one of her YouTube videos I will pick out the YouTube video so that I know which one it is when I'm ready to work out so that way when I have my schedule time to work out I'm not wasting time trying to find the right workout the same goes for Peloton if you guys are familiar with it you can have the app on your phone to browse them so for example like at the end of the day I'll pick out on my phone and bookmark a class that I want to do tomorrow on the Peloton I just think that's really helpful again schedule it into your day whether it's on your to-do list on your calendar it makes a big difference and then my last tip for working out and getting started is to have a cute outfit I notice when I have a matching set on or like a cute workout fit I really enjoy my workout a little bit more I feel confident and I feel cute while I'm working out so then I wanted to talk about daily videos and I don't know if this will be relatable to you guys unless you're like a content creator but kind of think of this as like your work or your side hustle if you're thinking about starting something because this is what I do I wanted to push myself in December like I mentioned it was a very busy month for me and I didn't really upload a lot I didn't participate in vlogmas which is where you upload daily videos up until Christmas and I've always done that but I just knew I was going to be too busy with planning a wedding and with the holidays and friends and family and so that kind of carried on into January and I think I posted six videos which was like less than two videos a week which is just so not my style and considering it's part of my income I really need to push myself so I knew that 
doing daily videos for two weeks in February, which is 14 consecutive videos, would push myself. And I told you guys in my first video that I'm going to be doing daily videos, but I also told my friends and family that I was going to be doing it. And it really held me accountable. So my tip from this is telling a friend or a family member what you want to do as a goal or like an end result might be helpful to push yourself and hold you accountable. Another thing that I wrote down, and this is kind of cheesy, but you really can do more than you think you can. And I know that sounds really bizarre are but like with daily videos I'm usually a fan of bulk filming but during the two weeks I wasn't able to do that and every single day I would just filmed a new video and edited that video that same day and got it up you can do hard things if you push yourself and then my third little bullet point that I wrote down is if you plan out what you have slash want to get done it really does make it easier I'm a huge fan of writing things down whether it's in a journal in your notes on your phone or having a planner I think when you do that it's really easy to write down your thoughts and ideas and put it on paper so it doesn't get lost in translation or you forget about it. So those are my little ideas with daily videos. Another one that I want to share with you guys is how I got started with my podcast, Kel's Life. I wrote this in all caps. I have been pushing this off since November. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, I have a series on my YouTube channel called Talkative Tuesdays. And you guys, I've started this series like two years ago. I've known for a while that I wanted to turn it into a podcast. A lot of you guys have recommended that and I just never did anything with it. It was like that thing like, oh, I'll get to it when I get to it. And I struggled to get started. So my biggest tip for this is to give yourself a deadline. I did this when I started the daily videos in February and I said by Valentine's Day, I have to release and share the first episode of my podcast. I told you guys, I told John, I told my family and it really held me accountable to it. And then my second tip going into this is to break it into multiple smaller steps. We have this quote in my family that we like to share and it's how do you eat an elephant? And the answer is one bite at a time. So you can do something crazy big. You just gotta break it into smaller pieces. So for example, with creating a podcast, the first step, what do I want my podcast name to be? What do I want the cover art to look like? What am I going to talk about? Plan it out over throughout the weeks. When am I going to upload? Create a timeline and then creating the platform that I'm going to be uploading it to. So all those little things made the big goal of uploading this first episode so much easier and that's how I got started. So Hopefully that's a little helpful. And then the last little thing before I talk about my 2023 goals is my small business. I get tons of questions about my small business, Kelly Prepster Studio, all the time. My bead videos on my channel are some of my most popular videos and I get lots of DMs and questions on how to start a business or how do I start an Etsy business. And I'm gonna break it down into three easy things. Order the beads, make the bracelets, and list it. And it is so easy, it's just the act of getting it done. And I think you just have to start, you just have to do it. Stop letting fear stop you from starting. And I know that again is so easier said than done, but what do you really got to lose at the end of the day? Yes, you might have a little bit of overhead, but if you start small and kind of plan out your business plan, it's really doable. So I just wanted to share that because I really am excited to talk more about my small business with you guys throughout the upcoming week. So with it being 2023, I know it's February 14th. I know it's not quite the first day of the year but we are so new into 2023 that we can't let that stop us from reaching our goals so I wanted to share a few of my goals with you guys again to hold myself accountable but maybe to help you if you guys are writing down some goals or struggling to get started this year so these are in no particular order but they are related to what we just talked about first goal is to get back into working out regularly to help improve my mood and to tone up when I work out I notice I have a really positive energy around me it boosts my endorphins which is scientifically proven when you work out you're just going to feel better and I know that and so like if I ever get in the winter blues or get real sluggish feeling I know if I move my body I'm going to feel better so a I want to do it for my mood but I also like getting a result so I really want to get consistent with working out I want to create a solid routine that works for my lifestyle I don't really share this because I get a little embarrassed by it but I am not good at waking up at the same time every day I struggle with it so much and I don't know if it's just because it's so dark when I wake up. I'm not really sure. I try to wake up around 7 a.m. every day and I think since I'm able to create my own schedule it gets a little wonky. Oh 
it's okay if I wake up a little later. It's so important to have a morning routine. It's so important to be on a schedule. So I really want to work on that this year. My third goal is to push myself to create more and have fun with it. For my job, I have to create content. I have to create videos, post on social media, like add new products to my Etsy site. And I love that I get to do it. Again, it's so fun for me, but I really want to start getting a little bit more creative, put more time into things. And I'm just so excited to do that. Kind of piggybacking on that. I want to get more consistent with creating. So I really hope this podcast with it going up every single Tuesday will help me do that. I want to get consistent with how many videos I upload, when I upload, what time. There are some YouTubers out there that upload at the same time every week and I would love to be there. I just don't do that and I think I just never have so it's not crossed my mind. I would love to add more product and create more content for my second channel. So my second channel is all about Kelly Prepster Studio, the behind the scenes. I think it would be fun to share more in-depth videos or add more than one video a week to that channel but also add new products to my shop I mentioned that before I just started making charm bracelets they're seriously so cute but I need to make more add them to the shop and just get really consistent with it and then finally I really want to spend time with friends and family but also focus on having enough time for myself and I think I really struggle with this and I would love to get into a whole episode diving into setting boundaries and making time for yourself but also so hanging out and spending time with people around you. Those are my goals for 2023. I think it would be really fun to hear your guys' goals for the new year as well. So be sure to either leave a comment or message me over on Instagram, which is just at Kelly underscore Prepster. I really am excited for the podcast and I hope you guys are as well. Hopefully this was a nice first episode where you guys could kind of get to know me. I could get used to the setup. I, again, a little nervous with filming it. So hopefully that dies down as the next episode goes. I pulled out my my favorite pink sweater so since it is Valentine's Day but also I love wearing things that make me feel confident so that's another side little tip when you're starting dress your best but I am going to get going we are going to our favorite pizza restaurant tonight and maybe getting frozen yogurt right after since it's Valentine's Day I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Kel's Life if you guys have any topics that you want me to talk about let me know I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'd love any feedback that you have and I look forward to chit-chatting with you guys next Tuesday Bye. Bye guys!